<laughs> All right, so this isn't gonna be your average backpacking the world video. This isn't gonna be one of those videos where I show you how beautiful the world is. This is gonna be a video where I tell you a story about this absolutely insane outer body experience that happened to me and my best friend while we were backpacking. So let me start from the beginning and I'll get to the good stuff really quickly, don't worry. So my friend and I, we always wanted to travel together. We had never been out of Toronto and we wanted to travel together. To our luck, we found a flight to Portugal for $500, which from Canada or the States, $500 to Europe is a very good deal. The details don't even really matter. We were having a great time. We landed in Lisbon, we were having a great time. The very first night, it got really, really dark. And I'm not gonna get into too many details, but there was some involvement with some police taking advantage of power and whatnot. And it was really shit. It was really dark. Just believe me when I tell you, it was probably one of the worst days of both of our lives. From there, the trip was really bad. It was really bad energy. It felt like there was just a dark cloud following us um, basically for the rest of our trip. It was just shit. You know, because when something bad happens, obviously the negative stands out much more than anything positive that's going on. And when you have a really life-changing experience like that, it's gonna stick around with you. Here's when it gets kind of crazy. So it was in our plan during this trip to go surfing because we both surf and Portugal's great for surfing. So we basically got an Uber from the place we were staying at to a place called Caparica, which is at the coast of uh, Lisbon, maybe about 30 minutes. We go to the surfing shack, and we meet this girl. You know when you meet somebody and it's just like good vibes? Like you immediately have met somebody that you just instantly connect with. My, my best friend's name is Quiche. So me and Quiche, when we're together, we have like very good chemistry. So we're bouncing shit off each other. I think we were talking about working out or something. And this girl invites us to go to the gym with her. Like me and Quiche, we go to the gym all the time. So let's go to the gym while we're away. Like that's perfect. That's already something that kind of lifted up our spirits a bit because we love going to the gym. When we, once we get done surfing, first of all, first of all, before I get off of the surfing part, we had an absolutely euphoric experience while we were surfing. We were both surfing while the sun was setting. The entire sky was orange. It, it, it was beautiful. So it was, there was already a little bit of that euphoria. I don't know if any of you guys have ever surfed before, but it's very euphoric. Like there's really nothing like it. So we end up going to the gym with her, okay? Have a great workout, hit legs, you know, of course we're gonna hit legs. And then from there, she takes us to this great place to eat. We love sushi, she takes us to an amazing sushi place. After, after dinner, she invites us back to her hostel where she's staying at and she in introduces us to all of her friends, all of her roommates that she's living with and they're all just pure energy. Like pure good energy. It was kind of like a hippie house. Everyone was playing instruments, dancing, people giving tattoos in the corner just by hand. There were like five dogs in the house. Like it was like in insane. Yo, they call me the fucking dog whisperer. Look at, look at, look at this guy. Look at him. I can talk to him. <laughs> like I had never experienced this shit before. So yeah, she's introduced us to all of her friends. You know, we're having a good time. We're drinking, we're dancing, we're singing, we're, we're playing games and it's just, good fucking vibes. Like the best vibes you can imagine were there. So after we get done doing all of that stuff, they say to us, hey, you guys need to come to the club with us tonight. It's like this beach bar club. It's not really a club, like how you would imagine it to be in the US or Canada or anything like that. It's like a beach bar where like a bunch of surfers go. So we go there, we have an amazing time. We have an amazing time. We've forgotten about this whole past traumatic experience that happened. And then once we finish at the club, she put us in a room where we had like an amazing sleep, like, cause we were sleeping in hostels within like a tiny bed. She put us in like a spare room that she had in her house and we had an amazing sleep. So we wake up the next morning, you know, we go have breakfast. When we leave her place, we kind of realized what happened. We were kind of exposed to pure good energy because when this bad thing happened on a first night, that was sort of like the devil. And this experience, what this girl brought us, it made us see her like an angel. It felt like she was sent by the universe to like relieve our pain, relieve our stress, show us that there's still good in the world. Because when that experience happened, we were like really down, like it was really bad. And Literally a day and a half later, we have one of the best days of our lives. And we didn't realize that until the day had passed. Fine, bro. 
Like, what the fuck? Bro, we had one of the most amazing fucking nights of our life last night, bro. Yo, last night was insane. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. I don't even know if this guy knows how to describe it. It was fucked. Like, yo, life's good, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't know if you, any of you guys have had an experience where it's pure euphoria. The only, the best way I can describe it to you guys is it feels like you're on Molly. Don't do it because drugs are bad. But if you ever have, you know what it's like to just feel so happy. It was like one of those moments, which I had never, ever, ever experienced before, where it feels like just pure euphoria, naturally. Like the dopamine, all of the endorphins are going off in your brain and you're just so happy from this experience that just happened. What I really took from it is that people will present themselves in your life in very interesting ways. And a lot of the time you don't realize why they've been put into your life. Um, because I'm sure all of you guys say, everything happens for a reason. Now, if you truly believe everything happens for a reason, you should think that if people come into your life, they've came into your life for a reason. And so me and Keish, we genuinely believe that the universe sent this person as sort of like a healing angel for us. <laughs> and to just show us how great people can be and how great of an experience you can still have. And it made the trip just absolutely insane. Just the fact that we were probably at the lowest point that we've been in a long time. And then that sent us at like the highest that we've ever been. Even though that first event sort of made the trip a disaster and put a lot of strain on the trip, I think it's just really important for you guys to like get out there in the world and experience things because even though there was a bad part of the story and an amazing part of the story, it's like, that's just what life is though. And sometimes bad shit is gonna happen, but you can't do anything about that. Like things are gonna happen to you, um, whether you like it or not, no matter who you think you are, no matter, no matter if you put yourself in the best situations possible, no matter if you think that nothing bad can happen, nothing, even if you think you're invincible, which a lot of people think they are, like bad things are always gonna happen to everybody. Even if you haven't done anything wrong, a lot of shit, bad shit just happens. There are a lot of bad people in the world, but there's also a lot of good in the world. And that experience really changed me. It really changed me in both ways because it made me more aware of like the people that are around me, the energy that's around me. You don't even realize it, but there's a lot of bad energy that you put yourself around and there's a lot of negative energy that you put yourself around. You need to decipher which one is best for you. Obviously it's the positive energy, but you don't know who is bringing that. But you can kind of feel it if you start to be more, a little bit more aware of these certain things. I know this wasn't like a, a travel video, but this was just an absolutely insane experience. And I wanna get you guys take, have you guys ever had an experience where you feel like someone was sent into your life for a reason, maybe to show you something or deliver a certain message to you? I can name like a lot of examples where that's happened to me in my life, but leave in the comments below um, if you've ever had an experience like this, if you can relate to this story. But uh, yeah, guys, traveling the world is a great thing. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to make more travel vlogs out of it. That was the idea for this trip, but it didn't happen because of that first day. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys liked the video. Leave a comment, drop a like, subscribe. Peace out.